Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Feng Tang. Uh, I'm from Intel Linux kernel team. And today I'd like to talk about uh, some strange cloud performance changes we have seen recently. Uh, Uh, so some background here is that uh, 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 we have the zero day team, which is a contest report uh, robot. Uh, it uh, it keeps uh, testing the current performance and uh, reporting the regressions and the improvements. And recently, actually, it's about uh, ten years ago, uh, we start to see some strange cases, uh, which are hard to explain uh, because the PySec commits. Uh, seem to have nothing to do with the benchmark, like something uh, change in the uh, uh, mem uh, memory management uh, can affect the uh, benchmark in the scheduler. So, uh, uh, so the current developers, uh, which is bugged, uh, including us, uh, suspect it is the result, and uh, and uh, sometimes they will challenge the reports because uh, it, it doesn't uh, make any sense. Uh, so we uh, we have uh, put quite some efforts to try to understand, explain them, and, uh, and also we try to uh, mitigate them. Uh, uh, because our work, uh, many of our work are, are actually some uh, hypothesis and uh, uh, so uh, we are uh, so any uh, ideas or suggestions are highly appreciated and uh, welcome. Uh, oh, okay. The, uh, okay. Here, uh, here we'll go through about the kernel uh, layout of the different sections. Uh, we 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 have the text. Uh, read only data, data and uh, post CPUs, uh, data and other sections. Uh, this is from uh, we get from the uh, system map. Uh, according to the cases we checked, uh, which is about uh, more than twenties, uh, the 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 red red sections are likely to to happen. Most of them are uh, commits are. Uh, Related to the text data and the post CPU data uh, sections, and for others uh, it's green. Uh, it's it's just fine. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, the inside the kernel, all the uh, sections uh, are actually linked very compactly. Uh, for the for the text. Yeah, they they just uh, uh, be close to each other, and for data they're similar, but here we we leave some gaps because uh, in the data we we actually uh, in many uh, places we intentionally put some alignment there, so there will be some natural gap between different modulus. Uh, here the A B C D means uh, Different uh, dot o files, uh, and uh, uh, also the uh, the link orders uh, is uh, important here. Uh, so here I just uh, list the some of the orders uh, based on the Mac file. So the kernel. Uh, so this is a uh, will be the no address from Elicit, then the uh, arc code. Then the kernel memory management file systems stuff, and the drivers and network is at the last. So in short, here uh, I list the order here because if there's some change in the initial uh, section in the, uh, in this block, we can see it, it can it will affect all the all the blockers followed. And if we ch you have some ch uh, change in the drivers, it is just affect uh, uh, just a, a few. Uh, so 
So um, according to our uh, debugs and uh, uh, tests, we found that most of these uh, uh, strange clock performances are caused by uh, the alignment, the catch alignment changes. Uh, the patch, the, the, the elements including the three uh, categories. The first is the text, the function alignment, then the data alignment. And what matters uh, here in the data alignment is mostly about the force sharing. And also, we have some, we, 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 we saw some cases related with the hardware catch prefectures. For this one, this is transparent to the software programs, but it, sometimes it has a huge uh, effect on the performance. Uh, oh, one thing I need to uh, note here is that uh, for, for the, those uh, strange cases, mostly uh, they are from benchmarks uh, of some micro benchmarks like the weight scale, the VM scalability, the hack bench, the lead proof. Uh, so it uh, uh, seems that those uh, benchmarks can amplify this effect of the catch alignment changes. Uh, for the uh, hardware prefectures, there are several types, but the most important are these two. One is uh, just the catch line prefetch, and the other is the L2 catch prefetcher. And uh, I will give some more details for, for this. Uh, for the uh, text, uh, first I will talk about the text alignment. The curl functions are all linked together compactly, just like the this right right block. You can see that they are too tight uh, packed. Uh, so one line change of code can cause changes to the whole kernel of following it. And uh, the earlier it, uh, the dot all get linked the more part it can affect. Uh, so uh, for this kind of changes, we just try to explain it and root cause it, but it's hard to, to solve because uh, these changes are very uh, dynamically. Today you change changing one line code, it got some um, regression, and uh, tomorrow you, you, you change some code around it, it will get an improvement. And also if you change the GCC version, if you change uh, the, some of the color configs, it will just uh, affect the whole color linking and it, it will also cause, cause some magic change. So here we just try to explain it. And uh, so I, I, oh, and we don't expect we can resolve them. So uh, here we list some examples, uh, and the following will be a, a case study. So, um, so here we uh, saw a, a one-line uh, fixed patch from for the memory management. It caused about a thirty percent regression for the stress NG uh, switch case. Uh, so the change is actually. Is uh, the, the patch actually just at at uh, one line here, and the effect is it's about 16 bytes more bytes in the binary for that function, and uh, we can see from the right. So so the the we can see from here, uh, the the function can memory catch a lock, a lock broke is 16 bytes larger. And it caused all the functions following him, following it, got changed. And uh, there, there's some also some relocation of the uh, functions, uh, I think, by the, the compiler. So for these kind of uh, changes, um, it, it's hard to analysis from uh, as a white box. So we then we leverage some uh, GCC compiler options. Try to uh, try to test them. Uh, the the test we did is that 
we force all the function start rest be aligned on the uh, 64 bytes, which is uh, one catch line. So this is kind of the uh, just a black box. So when we uh, for this kind of things, uh, the cases, we force the address align. Then we retest the that commit and its parent commit. If the uh, point change is gone, and we, then we can say okay. Uh, here we see another uh, function alignment cases. Uh, this debug patch has been merged just uh, as a debug option. Uh, and uh, the effect is that uh, after uh, enable this, uh, we have uh, seen much less reports from the zero days uh, recent report. Uh, so one, so the the function is, uh, the effect is just like uh, the below. Originally, we have all the functions packed packed together tightly, and uh, if we force align them, uh, we can see see the, uh, the this this line. The function don't affect each other. Uh, uh, when I uh, submit the patch, uh, Thomas uh, Gaxinla asked uh, a question, why not uh, just turn it on? The reason we, we not turn it on because it, it has uh, makes the kernel much larger. It's about 10% larger, and it will uh, cause more TLB uh, occupation, which may affect the overall performance. So we have to take it as a debug option. Uh, following, uh, I will talk about the data alignment. The, the key about the data alignment is uh, about the catch force sharing. Also, the data part is more complex than the text because of how we have many different types here. We have the static layout, like the dot data function from each dot all files. And also we have specific functions for the per CPU data. Uh, besides that, we have the dynamic allocation from the KMalloc, Slab of VMalloc, and some very important data structure like the memory control group. They are, they are just uh, dynamically uh, allocated. And sometimes the alignment inside them uh, also matters and are very important. Uh, and for this kind of, for uh, if we saw a strange cases uh, related with the data alignment, we really have, um, we need to have more uh, debug method. The first one is uh, the perf C2C tool, uh, which is once uh, uh, suggested by jury, and many thanks for that. Uh, with this tool, we can try to catch the hotspots of the catch for sharing of the code. And another uh, uh, important tool is the peer hole. Uh, when we're dealing with these strange uh, performance changes, the first thing we will do, we will just uh, we'll use a peer hole to get the, the full the, uh, map of the two kernels. And we'll do some uh, comparison, uh, trying to find if there's some uh, alignment changes for the for the data structures, and uh, if we located some uh, hotspots of the catch for sharing, we will then we can add some debug patches. We will add different patterns here and there, uh, and just try to to find something important. Uh, so uh, this is uh, a picture about the uh, case for sharing. Uh, so generally, uh, I think uh, yeah, I use this ones for our internal sharing inside team, but yeah, I, I would still list it here. So the that means the data will be loaded from the memory to the catch on the catch line granularity, 
uh, usually it's about uh, 64 bytes. And uh, that, that data could be loaded to uh, catches of different CPUs. So when, when the access from different CPUs are all read, uh, it's a good case because it got shared. But uh, if there's any write here, it causes some false sharing. Uh, like because if one CPU uh, changes that data that data catch line, the when the other CPU want to read it, it has to be invalidated and reloaded, and cause cause some uh, catch bouncing, which is uh, a nightmare for the performance. So uh, what we try to do is if we are sure about there's some uh, a severe for sharing uh, in some of the important data structure, we will try to set, we should try to separate them into different catch lines. Uh, actually, we during checking these uh, strange performance changes, we found some of this and then we did uh, some separation patches to, to fix them. Uh, so uh, we, yeah, for this kind of cases, we also have some uh, debug mitigation. Uh, so uh, just like the text alignment, we we want one debug method is trying to uh, align them. Uh, here we also leverage one GCC option. Oh, the, actually, the link link option. We can change the link link script for the kernel. And we align all the uh, dot data sections and force them to be here for the X86. Uh, we force to about uh, 16 kilobytes because we choose all the 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 biggest one of the internal alignment. Uh, and uh, when we see a uh, we will see a case and the suspect it is cat, uh, data alignment related, we will enable this, and uh, then go check if the regression still exists. If it's gone, then we 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 will say it's about the data alignment. Uh, also, for the other types of data, we have some similar uh, uh, debug methods. For the possible data, we will, one idea is that, yeah, there's a micro just to so, so define the killer the possible data. We can add some debug option. Uh, if we enable debug option, we just uh, add some false alignment to those data. Uh, and the similar things for the KMALOC and the slab. Uh, we can force to change the KMALOC code and for slab, there's already some uh, alignment parameter which can just uh, change it, change the force to force some alignment for the slab. It will help us to to debug these things. Uh, so here is uh, it's about the other world catch uh, prefecture. Uh, this picture is, is taken from the the the, the, the one Intel website because in zero day we only have the the uh, x86 uh, test boxes and we can only access to to, to test them. So uh, here it lists four types. Uh, the first one is uh, the first the first two types are most important because we. We've seen several cases related with them. And uh, for the uh, for the current uh, pl platforms, uh, most most of them uh, they have them uh, default on by default. <laughs> uh, because generally uh, they they are helpful. Uh, we have seen some many papers stating that, and uh, in some our uh, real test. 
we can see that the hard of cat prefetch uh, did make a big big uh, difference and in, enhance the performance. But still, there are some color cats. It will hurt hurt the performance. Uh, <coughs> this prefetch is transparent to the software programmer. So, yeah, before change before checking the, these uh, strange changes, I don't know them. Uh, and uh, only when, when we are debugging and we find these things. Uh, so the Hadoop prefecture will try to do some prediction and preload many uh, things into the catches. Try to increase the uh, catch hit rate. And uh, because the algorithm is evolving, and so the 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 actually the the, the this prefetches the behavior will vary uh, according to the uh, platforms so in for some cases we saw some regression on some platform but for other platforms it's just fine uh, so uh, for the text alignment and data alignment they are mostly about the software uh, debugging, and we can try to add some debug uh, with software method inside kernel. But if these things don't work, uh, we will just turn to to check the hardware catch prefecture. We can try to uh, we can disable them together, all together, or one by one to to do some check. Uh, here is the adjusted catch line prefetch, which is an interesting one. So, when this uh, prefetch is enabled, uh, if if uh, some data is loaded from memory to to to, to the catch, it's so adjusted one will be fetched two. But this adjustment doesn't uh, has some uh, limitation. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, before or after, but just the that uh, just can a catch line must be in the same uh, 128 bytes chunk. So it's kind of uh, just an extension of the of the 64 bytes we know. So <clears throat> so um, which makes it the catch line actually be a uh, be doubled. It's kind of the aligned on the 128 limit. Uh, for this stuff, uh, we cannot take uh, detect by the proxy to C because uh, it only takes about the, uh, the, the the real catch line, the 64 bytes. Uh, but still, yeah, still we we, we uh, if, if we have the if we got the prophecy to see report, we can still try to find some adjacent catch stuff here because in the prophecy to see report, it will give the, all the uh, data addresses and uh, you can try to collect them if if they are in the, uh, they are the adjacent ones. Uh, so here's a case study about the how to Prefecture. So uh, we, so uh, there's an optimization patch which uh, remove a stretch pedal counter from the memory control group uh, structure, and it caused about uh, a 20% regression for the wheel scale pedal default uh, case. So the the commit uh, looks to be related with the test case because yeah. The, it's in the memory management domain, and the uh, and which does in, uh, involve a lot of uh, fun, uh, functions related with the memory group. So we we, we initially we did some uh, debugging by adding some padding, uh, but there are some strange things that uh, if we add some one line padding, which means we if we we add 
uh, 64 bytes padding, the regression is gone. But we, when we add the change the padding to from the 64 to 128, the regression is back again. So, and uh, and finally, it turns out is is about the is a about the hardware prefecture, the adjacent catch prefecture. Uh, so we found that he, actually in that that structure we have three hot members. A, B, C here. Uh, in original before the patch, uh, they are in the different catch line, but they are in the not in the same. 128 trunk. So they, they don't uh, affect each other. But with the optimization, the, 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 the hot members are put, put into the same 100, 128 trunk. So that now they have some catch force sharing, which is a kind of the extended catch for sharing, uh, and this one cause uh, the regression. So the final solution for that is we we separate these uh, three hot members into different uh, 128 chunks, and the regression can be uh, recovered. Uh, okay, so it go, goes too fast. Uh, uh, actually, for for, uh, for the for the uh, hardware prefecture, we actually oh, I've said there's a lot, uh, there's another case that for about the uh, just the uh, air to catch prefecture. Uh, so recently we we, we saw we saw a, a, a strange strange case. Uh, just uh, about last month, we, which is also about the memory control group. So there's, uh, we have some, uh, there's some the improvement about the, uh, the counting. So the, uh, so, so the R state is introduced to the memory control group. And uh, we, we saw a big regression, about 40% uh, regression. Uh, we tried those software de debug method, but seems it that doesn't work. And uh, only if we turn off the the air to catch prefecture here, or oh, let me go back to the first one, then the regression will be gone. So it seems there's some uh, there's some strange. Um, access pattern to the global hot data structure and it caused the hardware prefecture to do some very aggressive prefecture but those prefecture is, is not accurate so it, it wastes a lot of bandwidth ab about the, the about the the, the, the bars and it causes other regression so uh, so here uh, the point here is that if we can if we, see, if we see some real strange cases, we can try to disable, disable this prefecture and re redo the test. Sorry. Uh, um, and here is the last, uh, we, we have a lot of idea. Try to mitigation the, this stuff. Uh, because, uh, because these uh, these strange uh, regressions are really annoying. Not much uh, the same for the patch author and for uh, for us, because of, we have to put a lot of effort and time try to debug them and uh, try to explain them. So we want to make the kernel performance more stable. We want uh, less surprise. So. Here is kind of the uh, selective isolation uh, because in the current kernel, we have all the modulars uh, compared together, just like here. And uh, the idea is we try to 
select uh, some .o files, and we we for each .o file we just need to add alignment to one of its uh, function and one of its global data, so that uh, it can be seen like a, a, a isolation buffer. In the just like in this diagram, the A D I will be selected and add the uh, add the alignment, and then it will separate the kernel into different uh, capsules. So any change inside that capsule just be will be just inside that capsule and won't affect others. So it, it uh, it's like a, just like a capsule in a big ship. If one capsule get broken, the, it doesn't affect others, and the ship is still safe. And uh, the the rule we want to have is that uh, we, we we don't just uh, even uh, choose the, the the modulus from the kernel. We will try to uh, select more in the critical and the early modulars. Uh, because uh, those patches uh, will, are more likely to cause this, these strange uh, performance changes. Uh, uh, for example, uh, the the MC part, the machine check part, uh, the, the the Tony and the Boris has been bugged many times because uh, zero day report many strange changes uh, for their patches, but they they feel no sense. But because uh, the, the, the MC is 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 not a uh, is not a uh, commonly used modulus, and uh, mostly uh, in most times that uh, there has nothing to do with the benchmark. So uh, the reason uh, I think is uh, we think is that be just because it's in the early part of the kernel, it's in the architecture code, so any change of it from it, it will. Impact the, the the most of the kernels. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's the reason. Be just because it's it's linked early. So we will just try to to uh, select most uh, more uh, things from 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 the early modulus and the critical modulus. Uh, so we we actually we we did some experiment uh, that. That uh, we choose, uh, because uh, as uh, as I said before, we have uh, checked uh, about uh, more than twenty cases. We choose some cases uh, for the text al alignment and the data al alignment. We do some experiment. We choose some file, just uh, follow the patch, follow that patch, and we add the alignment, and then we we, we redo the test. And uh, actually, those uh, regression uh, is gone. But but uh, yeah, we just do uh, a few. So we uh, we we have some confidence in this way. Uh, and also, as uh, the one of the, uh, its advantages that uh, we because we just uh, just uh, select uh, a few modulus, so the size impact is is small and, uh, and control. Uh, uh, here's uh, some uh, how to do. Uh, so, so we we for for the for for checking the strange uh, performance changes, we have some debug methods. We and also we have some uh, mitigation ideas. Or uh, some are already merged. Uh, some uh, has been posted. Uh, so we will try to go on to upstream them. Uh, a lot, uh, a lot of things that are about the prophecy to C tool. Uh, prophecy to C tool really helps uh, in our work, and we can get a lot of uh, useful data. So, uh, if that if that tool could be extended to cover the 128 um, bytes, which is uh, double catch lines, it will be great and uh, uh, will help us a lot. 
uh, and also the, the one, last thing what we want to do is about uh, to check more about the hardware prefecture because uh, uh, the hardware prefecture just uh, is uh, just a one and zero so there's some still uh, magical things we, we cannot figure out uh, like uh, just like the case we, I, we, we talked we don't know what strange access pattern cause uh, regression uh, and uh, we can even think of some something we can just mitigate the hardware to make the hardware prefecture more uh, intelligent. Um, the last thing is that uh, yes, there are still some cases uh, remain uh, unexplained. Uh, so we would like to 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 check more on them. Uh, and in this talk, we talk about the catch alignment, uh, but in those. Uh, uh, cases we suspect they are related with the TLB, uh, but we just we just don't have a proof to them. Uh, so so this is uh, one of, uh, a lot to do. Uh, uh, okay, uh, that's all, that's all for me. Uh, uh, any questions? Um, I have okay. one. Uh, you, you, you mentioned that there was uh, three height item, hot items and you separated A, B uh, from C. Would it be better to separate A, B, and C across 128 byte chunks or was the, uh, the structure just not big enough? Uh, the stretch is, is very big. The memory control group uh, stretch is about uh, uh, four kilobytes so uh so so my 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 patch is just uh separate them uh fine uh far enough we 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 just keep the in line in line uh the in catch line alignment not change it we just move the whole catch line stuff uh, away uh, because uh in in the memory uh management they are, they already consider the catch line so for this A, B, or C, there's already some, uh, the, 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 the previous death stretch already has some uh, catch alignment to force the one catch align. But unfortunately, it hits the, the, the adjacent catch align uh, prefecture. Okay, so you, you found out that they were actually not on the same cache line, you put them back on the same cache line, is that right? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, we, uh, they, the A, B is they are in the cache line, the same cache line, the C is in another cache line. Uh, so uh, I, I, the solution is keep all these catch line and change it. We just move move them far away. We 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 like the C is in the two N plus one. We move the down to the two two line uh, plus ten. Okay. Okay. Uh and and this is because these are actually two cache lines, right? Like you're talking one twenty eight bytes and, and the line there is is sixty four byte uh alignment, that sort of thing. Uh, is what I understood from earlier. Okay. All right. And you really, how far did you have them move them? Did you have them move them that far? Or was it, would it have been just fine enough to get to 2n plus 2? Uh, 2n plus 2. So, yeah. So, 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 um, yeah. Yes. Uh, if we, 
uh, as I said, the one debug method is uh, that this is uh, after the optimization patch. If we add some, uh, the one cache line padding here, it just push, push it back and the, the regression is gone. So, but, uh, but that will in, in involve some additional stuff, padding, right? We don't want to add some um, more cost. So we just uh, do the re really out stuff. Okay. All right, thank you. There are some questions in the chat. Do you want me to read them out, or can you read them out? Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, 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 okay. I will. Uh, I'm uh, opening the chat box. It's loading. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does take a little while. <laughs> well, while it's loading for you, let me um, start out uh, with. Um, Case is basically saying, um, was talking about. This might help isolate uh, performance uh, impact. of FG, uh, K, ASLR as well, randomized within capsules instead of across the entire memory space. Uh, so, um, so I, I cannot rec rec recommend you to disable it because uh, in, we have done some other tests. Uh, in generally, with, if we disable the prefecture, there will, we will see some re, some the decrease of the performance. So uh, so it it's so 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 the, this disabling is kind of uh, by case by case. Mm -hmm. So if if you disable it, you may see see see, see some uh, gain in one case, but you 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 will see some uh, penalty from other cases. Uh, that's my uh, understanding. Cool. Okay. Uh, go ahead. You go ahead and read them, and then answer and talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, there's a lot of question about uh, from the chat window. Is that uh, have you ever observed uh, an expected performance improvement caused by the alignment changes? And uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, there are quite quite uh, quite many. Uh, but usually, people don't care because oh, okay, we I got uh, improvement here, so it's fine. But if there's some regression related a uh, it will be a more severe problem. Yeah. Uh, so in short answer, yes, we we will see both the regression and the improvements related with the catch line uh, alignment changes. Okay. Uh, well, one question uh, I have is more uh, on the, so MEM C group is one example. Do we have uh, like a data for uh, like maybe all the structures the kernel have like similar, which can be uh, like there, what are the host members there? Uh, if the alignment changes the potential for regression and stuff? Um, uh, let me let me think. So the memory control group is, I think, is the most common stuff, most uh, common stuff we've seen. For others, uh, let me check. Uh, for for others, it's, it's just uh, some sparkle stuff. We have seen some uh, lamp space global data. We've seen quite a few of the about the per CPU data. But for memory management, yeah, it's mostly related with the memory control group.
Uh, does anyone else have any more questions? Could that just be because MEMC group has the most changes going on right now? I mean, uh, the MM struct generally doesn't change. Uh, the BMA stuff kind of is, is sitting the same it's been for, I don't know, 2012, I guess, maybe. Um, could those also be affected in this manner? Uh, I think the because uh, in the most uh, test platforms of the of the zero day, there's the there's a, there's, a, there's some uh, servers they have uh, more than uh, 100 CPUs. So so uh, uh, for this alignment stuff uh, will affect those uh, uh, those servers mostly because uh, the the catch effect will be amplified on those like uh, for uh, because because all because the, 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 uh, that that strategy is global and every CPU need to access them uh, mostly in the, in the update uh, in updating uh, statistics and uh, and yes just as you, uh, as you um, said uh, recently there are quite some uh, changes uh, improvement for the memory control group. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, and uh, a lot of funny is that um, the, the 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 status statistics is always a uh, hot spot for the micro benchmarks and for the uh, the, the big servers with uh, with uh, many uh, CPUs. Because there are there are, there are some contentions they are trying they they eventually need to update the the one global uh, global state states. Any more questions? Uh, I don't have a question, but more for like, I, I really want to like, thank you. Uh, this is like really helpful in catching and uh, particularly uh, testing and regression. And these uh, reports are really helpful in finding the issues. So yeah, thanks. You're welcome, and thank you for the patience. Yeah, we, we've bugged you the uh, uh, car sometimes recently. Yeah, okay. Brett Olson's also raised his hand. I don't know if you want to unmute and be visible, Brett, or oh, can you please help me because uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to, to just uh, to unmute him. Yeah, no, he has to unmute himself, <laughs> you can't unmute him. <laughs> it's oh, all okay. very much uh, self person controlled. So let's just check and see if he's got something in the chat. Um, Ben, do you have any comments you want to type in somewhere? Well, thank you, Ben. If no more questions, I think we are fine. Okay. Not today. Well, we can keep the discussion going over in the chat. And thank you very much for an excellent presentation. Thank you. Much appreciated.